Hey, what's up everyone? This video I'm going to talk a little bit about the electrical system on Fox Body Mustangs and some common problems and what you can do about it. Uh, number one, I mean if you've watched my videos about batteries, you know where this is going already. You know, you need a battery maintainer. You need a fully charged battery. Uh, but I'm going to talk about some Mustang modifications that are kind of specific to what may lead to problems with your Mustang. Uh, number one, these electric fan swaps are, they're pretty popular. And it's a pretty cool upgrade. I mean, you're getting rid of that clutch fan. It's clumsy. I don't like the way it looks. It's irritating. You start the car up, you got this fan whipping around. So going to the electric fan, it's definitely a nice upgrade. But uh, you have to take into consideration, you know, when this car was made, obviously it didn't have an electric fan on there. So the engineers did not plan for it as far as the electrical system is concerned. And that generally leads to problems. It kind of makes uh, an alternator upgrade mandatory. And I think what makes that problem even worse is a very popular modification with these cars is the underdrive pulleys. And basically what happens with these underdrive pulleys is they're going to turn all of your accessories slower. So basically what's happening is that alternator is not spinning as quickly as it would be. So at idle, you're probably not going to charge as well as you did with the stock pulleys on. I mean, I'm pretty much going to guarantee it. And that can lead to a lot of problems with um, the battery not getting charged properly. And let's face it, it's EFI. It's electronic fuel injection. So once that battery starts losing its juice, don't expect everything else to properly function. So let's put this into a scenario. Let's say you're sitting at a stoplight, the fan kicks on, you're idling, you've got all this draw on the battery, your battery isn't fully charged, it's really not up to snuff to handle that load, and maybe you've still got a stock alternator on there. Now it's all gonna drag the electrical system down. You know, and you're going to hear your fuel pump's going to start dying down. It's not going to be pumping the fuel. It should be moving. And the problems just keep going on down the line with electronics. So another thing, too, is I've come across quite a few of these vehicles where the fan is wired hot. So, like, basically what I mean by that is when you start the car, the fan just automatically comes on. And... This is really not the best case scenario because you're constantly putting a draw on that electrical system. The fan's constantly running. You know, it should be set with this thermostat. And the other thing it should have, like I got right here, it's actually set on a relay. So basically, what that relay does is when I get out of, when I turn the, the car off, when I turn the switch off, it kills the power to that fan. Uh, some of these fans are wired to where they're hot with the key off, which basically means that the car will be sitting there in the parking lot, and once that thermostat senses the heat, it's going to trigger it, even with the engine off. It's been wired hot. So this thing's always getting a 12 volt power source. So anytime that thermostat senses that it's hot enough and it triggers it, it's going to come on. Which, on one hand, it's like, oh, well, that's kind of cool. You know, it's going to. It's going to take some heat out of the engine compartment, help the engine cool down. And it's like, yeah, I agree with that, but the problem that's going to exist then is you're going to put a big draw on this battery. And you're basically going to cause this battery to keep cycling. And, you know, this automotive battery, it's not a deep cycle battery. It wasn't designed to do that. So it's going to put a lot of stress on your battery. It's going to make the car a lot harder to start. It's going to reduce the lifespan of that battery. So these are all things to think about. You know, if you've got an electric fan, you want to make sure it's wired up properly. Make sure it has a relay on it. Make sure that your battery has been maintained properly. Keep it fully charged. And if you're running underdrive pulleys, you know, you might want to consider bumping your idle up a little bit. Uh, other things you can do, too. Uh, get into doing, like, an HID conversion on the headlights. It's going to help you at nighttime. And uh, also... Converting over to LED lights, like on your tail lights and all that, it, I think it really helps out, helps the electrical system kind of cope with all the electrical demands. And let's face it, HID and LED are pretty cool looking, so it gives you more of a modern look, but it also gives you the benefit of 
helping out with the electrical system. So like I said, if you've got a Mustang and you've been experiencing some of these problems, hopefully it's going to help you understand why you might be having trouble um, and possible solutions to it as well. All right, so if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave comments or whatever. I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions you have. All right, thanks.